So check it out. This is my new hand. Uh, have the leaf chain winder, so it's about an eighth inch skinnier here. Uh, interesting, I, on the Prusa XL, I printed a dual material socket using ColorFab TPU. Uh, the inner red piece I printed at the 255 degrees, and the black I printed at about 220. So it gives me a different uh, feel. Also, the forearm cuff, all aluminum, uh, 6061T6, ended up machining it uh, and then heating it up to the annealing point and then forming it in my urethane press brake die. Uh, pretty cool. Something that I also changed on this. So one of the big things that I've been trying to emphasize on the prosthetic is on this design, the the socket just takes up the void space that is not the mechanics. So if I were to take this off, and this changes how you end up having to put it on, but check it out. The socket just pops out. And I have these four, uh, I ended up machining them in with a quarter inch ball mill. And that's what locks into these four points on the socket. So this little place right here, this is uh, that softer area. Originally, I found that I was getting a little bit of bitey, bitey sensation on this. What this socket allows me to do is have the socket lock behind the head of the metacarpal. So what this does you end up putting it on like this, and then you squeeze these two, and the balls just kind of slide past. Let's say that, and then you do the second set. You usually have to push down on something to get it to all line up, but you slide that down, you line that up, and then just click into position. So, pretty awesome. Uh, had great results from the Prusa XL for the. Um, of course, it's still a little bit, still a little bit tight. It's still brand new. It's have, you know, still breaking things in, but kind of, kind of interesting. This is a titanium gimbal. This is one of the last things that I had printed from PCB Way before tariffs actually did end up paying a, a $200 tariff on this piece, so that kind of sucked. But kind of getting there. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.